So in the very first video of x-rays, we have looked at how it's being produced and the kind of characteristic uh, lines and continuous distribution. In this video, we are going to talk about how or what, what can be done to this experimental setup to allow us to control certain properties of the x-ray beam. And the reason why we want to control it is because we want the x-ray beam to be relatively safe for the patients that we are applying the x-ray on and also so that we don't you know overheat the system lah you know efficiency is king especially when there's money involved all right so we're going to uh, adjust two properties or look at two properties of this x-ray beam the first one that we are going to look at is the intensity using the word intensity to describe wave as mentioned in the previous video is not new it's defined as power per unit area and number two we will also look at the hardness of the x-ray so if you remember the spectrum that I've showed you in the first video previously, there are hard x-rays and there are soft x-rays. So you will look at the image and you can see for imaging, huh, we all use hard x-ray. We don't even want the soft x-ray. Don't know why is it here. So we would like to be able to filter out or you know not have this around at all. Because uh, although the x-ray is soft, like, oh, very soft and fluffy. Uh, do not be deceived. It is still ionizing. It's still dangerous for you. If you are exposed to soft x-ray, you know why we call it soft or not? Because it doesn't penetrate your body. If it doesn't penetrate your body, it means your body is absorbing all the x-ray. Very soft, very dangerous. So we want to be able to filter this one. Uh. All right. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to control our setup so we get the x-ray as hard as possible and how to remove the soft x-rays so that you will not get cancer too soon. Or at least the patient uh, won't be harmed by it. All right, so first one, we're going to look at what is intensity in terms of controlling the X-ray beam. Okay, so intensity is defined as wave power. Remember this? Per unit area. Okay, but what does it affect when you look at an X-ray image? How do you know whether the X-ray is intense or not intense? This will affect how black the black is. Let me show you an X-ray image. Lah. Right, so you can see there are two X-ray images of the lungs in, on top of my head. One has a high degree of blackening. So you can see the contrast is pretty good. This one is very nice. We can see the lung structure. I zoom in. Nah, nah, nah. You see, you can see the heart. You can see the all the all the fibers inside. I don't know what, what do you call this? Forgotten already. Fail bio. Okay, you can also see the bones. Pretty good. This one does not have high contrast. And in fact, it doesn't really let us see what is going on inside the lungs. But you can at least still see that this person has a heart. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, what allows us to control the degree of blackening? Okay, so this... Uh, intensity which is wave power per unit area will affect the degree of blackening in our x-ray all right and this depends on the number of photon emitted per unit time all right so this is affected or depends on but what causes us to have more number of photons emitted per unit time of course again this is x-ray huh? so how can we make more x-ray photons we need to whack the target metal with more electrons just bombard more so to, in order to do this um, the method that we will suggest is that we are going to increase i mean just i mean just let me let me go back to the x-ray tube Okay, we now need to make more electrons. Make more electrons. So how do we make more electrons? There are two things that we can adjust. The first thing that we can adjust is this filament current. Okay, so I'm going to label this column here. Column here. This one is the filament current. Meaning if I increase this current I this filament will get hotter. Or I could increase the large accelerating potential, the extra high tension. This one makes the electron go faster. So the accelerating potential V 
okay, changes the velocity of the electron. So this one changes velocity or speed of electron. Whereas the filament current, what does it change? It changes the number of electrons, which is what we want. If you want X-ray with good contrast, okay, we have to adjust the filament current because that affects the number of electrons. Affecting the number of electrons will affect the number of photons that come out. Remember the rate was one electron per photon. Okay, this thing is quantum physics. So we're going to go back there and write what we can do is we can adjust the filament current. So method will be increase. So the suggested method is to increase the current in the heating filament or the heated filament. All right. So this allows us uh, in order to have more electrons emitted per unit time. More electrons per unit time, more electrons bombard the heavy target metal, more X-ray photon you will get. This is good. All right. Um, how intense do we want it to be really depends on how much contrast is necessary, right? So sometimes we need good contrast. This is not the best contrast, by the way. This allows us to look into the lung structure. Ah, look at the bronchial, the, all these little, little lines, but still not enough good contrast for us to see, to see what is happening inside. So we can adjust the contrast depending on what is needed. And that can be adjusted using your intensity of the x-ray by adjusting the current in the heated filament. Second property about x-ray beam is hardness. Is it a hard x-ray or is it a soft x-ray? So this hardness, mm -hmm, the term hardness has to do with penetration. Okay, so this one has to do with the degree of penetration of the x-ray beam. And this penetration determines the fraction of intensity of the beam that penetrates the body. So in subsequent videos, you will see that, uh, let's say we have a human body or some cell tissue. I'm going to draw here. Okay. And let's say we send some x-ray in. Not all the x-ray will pass through. Okay, la. let's say I do an experiment. Okay. So maybe this one is I1. And then when you reach here, you will have I2. Of course, I2 is going to be less than I1 because the X-rays will be absorbed by this material. Okay, so we want hard X-ray because we want, that, want the I2 to be still big enough for us to measure or record on the photographic plate. Okay, so the degree of penetration of the X-ray beam. Okay, so this uh, determines the fraction. of intensity of the X-ray beams that penetrates the body. So I want you to think about, do you think that we would like to have large intensity to penetrate the body? Or I guess medium or low intensity? Because to answer, the question here is, if a lot of the, the X-ray passes through your body, this means that your body didn't absorb a lot of X-ray. So in this case, I'll just put a note here. I will say if there is more penetration, which is generally what we want, this one is less absorption. The body absorbs less. And less, body absorbed less means there are less harmful X-rays being absorbed by the body. Okay, so this is what we want. More penetration, less absorption. Okay, because if your body absorbs too much X-ray, harmful radiation, cancer is a risk. Okay, so um, generally when you want to think about it, right, what kind of... Uh, what kind of uh, X-ray beam will have the largest hardness? Uh, this one will have to do with energy, no? 
So more penetration, less absorption, and also more penetration, uh, larger energy of photon. Meaning that we are talking about shorter wavelength. Okay, so basically now what we want to do is we want to create x-ray of short wavelength. So shorter wavelength of x-ray photon. Greater penetration. Shorter means penetrate more. <laughs> okay, so how do we create x-ray photon of higher energy or shorter wavelength? We don't need more x-ray previously in intensity we need to make more x-ray photons so remember photons are like light particles we need to make more photons now i i don't need more photons i need the photons to have more energy shorter wavelength higher frequency okay so in order for us to have more more energy because you know hc over lambda what we could do is we could go back to the setup here and we ask ourselves Hmm. If I want this X-ray to have more energy, what I could do is I could allow these changes in energy to be bigger. So if I want the change to be bigger, the high speed electron must have a higher speed. So I need the electron to whack the target metal at a faster speed. I don't need more electrons colliding with the target metal. I need higher speed electrons. Because when higher speed electrons collide with the target metal, what will happen is the X-ray photon that is emitted will receive more energy. Each X-ray photon receives more energy. Hence, your X-ray will be harder. Okay, so this one, I'm just going to zoom in here and put a quick note for you. This uh, accelerating voltage, extra high tension one, changes the velocity of electron. Okay, this one would mean that uh, if velocity increase, your X-ray is harder. Harder and faster. <laughs> okay, whereas we're going to go back here and write it down. So the method that we will use to increase the hardness will be uh, to change the acceleration, accelerating potential. So variation of the accelerating potential difference. Between or well, in the X-ray tube. Lah. All right. So we want the X-ray to be hard so that the body doesn't absorb that much. Number one. Number two, so this is first method. Number two, I would like to filter out all the, most or all of the soft X-ray. Why leh? Well, for safety reason. Nah. If the X-ray is soft, it means that your uh, system or the tissue that you are scanning will absorb a lot of the X-ray, which is what we want to avoid. Okay. So for soft X-ray, I'm going to put a different color here. For soft X-rays, because we have a range of frequencies, remember? So if you think about this graph, right? What we want is the X-ray that is very hard. So we want to filter this thing. And we only want the X-ray with large energy. So this means maybe somewhere here is my cutoff. Okay, so here to here is hard X-ray. We want to keep. Example, uh, high energy. So this is hard X-ray. Whereas everything at the back here is soft X-ray. And we want to filter. So this part all the one. Alright, so to filter out the soft X-ray, we will apply a filter. Okay, so we'll apply an aluminium filter on the window. So maybe the filter will look like this. I'm just going to draw a bunch of crosses to represent the filter, okay? So this is aluminium filter to filter the soft X-ray because we don't want it in our system. No good. All right, so I'll write that down now, okay? So 
for soft x-rays, I would say that the aluminium filter is placed at the emerging x-ray beam. Why? This is to absorb the longer wavelength x-ray photons from the human body. So we settle already, no? we make it as hard as possible. But whatever that is soft, because it's a range one, I cannot control the range. So what we'll do is we will then uh, filter out using an aluminium filter. All right. So aluminium filter is used. Okay. Or we change the accelerating potential difference, specifically increasing it lah for hardness. So increasing. I guess instead of variation, I will write increase. So increasing the accelerating potential V. All right. So this is how you can make your X-ray harder. You can make your X-ray more intense by increasing the current in the heated filament. So in your circuit, there are two things we can increase. Accelerating potential for harder X-ray filament current for more x-ray more x-ray photon so this fill what this filament current does is that it increases the number or the intensity lah. okay number of x-ray and intensity so think about it as something that has different properties and depending on what purpose we want we will either increase the intensity or increase the hardness all right so this is how we control the X-ray beam to create different, different uh, X-ray images. Sometimes we want nice contrast. Sometimes we also want, for safety reasons, to use a filter to filter out the soft X-ray of longer wavelength. Okay. So absorb longer wavelength. And also to take out, I mean, increase the accelerating potential difference. All right, so that's how we control the X-ray. And in the next video, we will, look, we will look at how we put all of this together to create or to modify our X-ray tube to take good X-ray photos. Because at the end of the day, this is part of medical physics. And we want to see how we can use this technology to help us look into the human body. That's it for this video. If you find this helpful, do share this with a friend. Let us improve in A2 together. We will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.